Hey guys, welcome back to How to Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we will show you how to remove and replace the horns on Chevy Cruze guys. We will guys have more than 200 videos on this car. Why guys? Because our goal guys is to save you as much money as we can by providing free videos to you. All we need in return, like, subscribe and recommend us guys. So those are the horns, okay let me show you what they look like. We'll show you guys where they are located, what needs to be done and how to replace them as well. Now they are a little bit of a hidden place, so what we will do now, we will guys remove the bumper cover to be able to show you. You might be, you may be able to remove them without removing the bumper cover, but I don't know for sure because it's very limited room and without removing the bumper cover I cannot show you anything at all. That's why stay with us quick, I'm going to show you uh, how to remove the bumper cover in case you need to and you can find where the horns are. All the tools and parts that we use guys will be listed in the description of the video below and we just started a brand new channel called Electrical Car Repair Life that you can find probably more than 200 videos coming soon on these car testing components, engine codes and things like that. So let's start on the process now. Even if you have a different style bumper cover guys the procedure is the same, it doesn't matter I think. It's all the same for the whole generation from 2008 to 2016 so let's start on it now. So in order to remove the bumper guys, okay, ours is damaged on the left side but we'll demonstrate what needs to be done on the right side and the same thing will need to be done on the left side of the bumper as well. So pretty much everything is the same. Now, okay you can see we have a Torx 20 star looking bit, okay like this one here and over there guys okay we have a few screws that we need to remove okay and now guys okay let us show you what else needs to be done so we'll remove the same three screws that we did on the other side as I said ours is damaged so we're not going to video that, we already did it. Now, we need to get the same two guys and we need to go under, under the vehicle and there is one cover that we need to remove, okay, with the Torx 20. One screw. Two. Three, four, five, and then we have one more on the other side. Okay, you might expect to have some clips here. Ours, okay, four clips, you need to remove those and then you pull the piece out. Okay, like that, and you remove it out of the way now, guys. Okay, you can see just like that. Now, let us see, guys, okay, what else needs to be, okay, what else needs to be done here. Right here we have one more screw in the corner. Again, what we're doing on the left side needs to be done on the right side as well. Okay, this screw right there, we don't have anything here. Okay, it looks great now. So, we need to go ahead, open the hood and we need to continue under the hood of the vehicle to remove a few more components now. So, we open the hood now guys, okay. And you're going to notice right here now, okay, we have one bolt with a 10 millimeter socket here. Same thing guys, okay, on the other side. Now we're supposed to have guys four clips of those, one, two, three, four, but we have only two, the other ones were not installed, so let us show you how to remove those. Okay, you pry that piece up a little bit, get the clip removal to, okay, pull it out, perfect. You can see, if when, when once you lift the middle piece up, you're going to be able to remove the whole clip. Okay, great, now, you're going to have two more, Remember, one here and one here. Ours guys are missing. Now we need to grab the bumper, okay? I don't think anything else is holding. We need to grab on this side a little bit. Okay, let me show you. 
and you have to hold it good and pull this way there is a few clips okay and those clips guys they tend to get stuck so okay what we're going to do we're going to actually help it here okay it's the clip that's holding right here I can see this clip Okay, it's about to come out. I'll get a screwdriver, a small screwdriver. One person will pull a little bit and I can see the clip. Okay, it popped out. Perfect. Because otherwise you're going to break it. It goes under the headlight now. You have a couple of clips as well. So we need to break that one loose now. And it tends to get stuck guys, okay, really, really bad. So you can see guys, we have one, two clips holding here. So if we lift up a little bit, okay, come in an angle like that, it's going to come out. Now we need to disconnect all the wiring harness. Okay, right here now. Uh, what I'll do, I'll disconnect the bulbs and I'll check them later. Here we have another wire. This is for the temp sensor as well. So, okay, this one, that red thing guys, now, okay, give me a second. I need to pull that thing. Okay, I need to pull that thing out. Okay, let me just grab one screwdriver quick. Okay, you can see that red thing needs to be moved to the back, then push in. Okay, and that thing is extremely tight. What I'll do. I'll leave the locking pin right here. Okay, it has a lot of sand in it. And pull it out. Now on the other side, we're going to have one more, but ours is broken. You can see where the, the bumper got damaged. So, you can see guys, the bumper came out of the way just like that. So with the bumper cover guys out of the way now, okay, let me show you where the horns are. Okay, like right here. You can see that's where your horns are and you have one nut. Now, Practically, if you remove the bottom piece, it is probably possible to get an extension and get that nut removed, but I don't know if you, if you will be able to, guys. So that's why we decided to show you to remove the bumper, but it's your decision if you want to or not. Now you can see a little bit better where they're located as well. Now this is the 13 millimeter nut that we need to remove. Perfect. Now we remove them like that. Okay, that clip, press in and pull it out guys. This is, these are your horns on your Chevy Cruze. Okay guys, we will also have a video how to test those to make sure that the problem is not somewhere else. It's not a fuse, it's not a relay, it's not the switch itself, the horn switch. So check out on the channel guys, we have a video how to test horns as well. It's very simple, it takes only just a few seconds. So hopefully guys, the video will be helpful to some of you guys. Please hit that subscribe button for more videos. Uh, if you need help with anything specific, drop a comment below. We'll try our best to make a video and see you guys next time.